the problem with thinking that Christ is the Lord of the sacred and not of the secular is, is simply that it's not true. If the Bible makes anything clear, it makes it clear that Christ is the Lord of everything. So that kind of worldview is just biblically off. It's, it's just off base. Now, unfortunately, often that view is cloaked in very pious and spiritual language because it sounds very spiritual to focus primarily or even almost exclusively on the spiritual disciplines, which are absolutely essential, but to act as if that's all that matters. Prayer, reading the Bible, going to church, singing hymns. And then we live the rest of our lives, really, outside of Christ's lordship? I don't think so. Not if we're really praying, not if we're really reading the word, not if we're really listening when we go to, at least if it's a good church. I think a, a passage that makes this clearer than about any other is Colossians 1.15, where it says, The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in Him all things were created. All things. Whether things on, in heaven, things on earth, visible, invisible, whether the thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. In Him and through Him all things were created. All he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Dallas Willard used to ask, now what does that word all leave out? Later on the passage talks about, for God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things through Christ and the blood he shed on the cross. What does all leave out? Well, obviously, it doesn't leave out anything. So the big problem is, separating the sacred from the secular is that it it gives us the freedom to secretly think there are some parts of our lives that are not under his management it gives us a freedom to to go to sleep at night and not even give a thought to the over one billion people who have never heard the name of jesus it it gives us a coldness of heart so it's not even though it may sound spiritual to say, we really, we really want to focus on the sacred, is simply not biblical and is not even healthy spiritually.